Hola, Mr. Newton. Hola, Mr. We hate corruption. We will clean corruption. Hola, Mr. Is in case one million. This is <laughs> Mr. Palapal, Mr. Money in the Matras. Hey, you think those scandals are, are look are, are enough? Huh? Don't worry. Mr. Palapala has got another new scandal. Another thing that will take him to, will see him facing. Um, CR is linked. Uh, CR linked to MTN tender imposed on municipalities. Err. Did you hear that? It's in case of one million. It's a new dawn. <laughs> we laba ababa babu state capture. Baso dilwa na bo. We are following processes. Wait, wait, wait. Processes are following him now. Ha! <laughs> I'm telling you. So President Sina Ramaphosa is once again implicated in a tender for Pulse scandal. While South Africans um, are fixated on the so-called uh, Government of National Unity, GNU, cabinet appointment, government has closed three-year deal with Telecom giant, with telecom giant MTN, which will see about 257 municipalities digitized through the implementation of a smart electricity and uh, water technology across the country. Now, the, the thing is, uh, the reason why when it comes to Ramaphosa, we don't have mercy. We just looked at him in that eye. It is because of what he sold to us. You see, had he not played this uh, superhero character, this thing, I am clean. Um, I'm going to clean the government. I'm a billionaire. I don't steal. Had he not played those politics, we will look at it. We would have been looking at him and uh, look, we, will, we, will, we will have faith and trust in him. But he came into the political scene uh, and specifically into the presidential seat with uh, Sally, look, uh, with hope, look, uh, uh, with, with uh, nothing but falseness. I'm going to clean corruption. That's going to be new dawn. I will clear jobs. I will do this and this. All right. What's that? No problem. Come on. Bring it on. Well, he delivered none. None whatsoever. The next thing, the state capture is the, pro for, uh, is the problem. Forgetting he's implicated in the state capture too. But yeah, because media uh, because you, most of you guys listen to media too much, you wouldn't know that the Ramaphosa is implicated there. You will think it is Zuma thing, right? Because the media tells you Zuma thing. We'll continue on this one, but I'm going to break it down for you, provided that you're interested. Well, uh, um, well I'm just talking about breaking down things. I don't understand why people are it and they not doing this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed so like i was saying go to get he came into this political uh, scene and uh, he was going to be this superhero. A superhero that is going to change the world <laughs> It is reported that MTN Business has been awarded a contract to roll out smart electricity and water technology. Ramaphosa said to be at the forefront of this deal. Municipality believe this new tender is designed to take power from the municipalities and hand it to big businesses. 
it is still not clear how MTN uh, will pocket from the deal. Ah. The contract is said to be designed to enhance digitization through the implementation of a smart um, smart electricity and water technology across South Africa, uh, 256 municipalities. The T the the, the RT twenty nine tra Transvaal contract awarded by National Treasure will see MTN supply, install, manage, and maintain smart uh, smart metering programmers across the country. The project is said to be uh, severely imposed on municipalities. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hi, Ramaphosa is going to change the country now. Um, you know, speaking about imposing things, we now know that that same said Ramaphosa who is going to save the country, he, he imposed the DA on the like the the the, the, the Houten government because the Panyaza Lusuf was like, you know what, I'm gonna you're not gonna to do do this to me. He went there. Ramaphosa made a call and said, told Rama, look, Panyaza Lusuf, he said, hey, do this for ETA. Now the same uh is in Kasu one million Siso Gwakiwala Siso Bakwasa <laughs> Now that man the man who's keen the billionaire who's gonna create jobs and do all of this that billionaire is corrupt to the core Ramaphosa spokesperson Vincent Maguanyas has denied that Ramaphosa was linked to the MTN deal, other than the look at the obvious legal and logistical fact that the president cannot and does not have any uh, operational involvement in M look at MTN. Such processes will not work under the Municipal Finance Management Act, uh, what, what Maguanya explained. Even though the president's spokesperson acknowledged that Ramaphosa did have interest in telecoms, he was no longer part of it. Historically, he was involved in the industry, which is well known uh, as, as a public fact. However, Ramaphosa's fa Ramaphosa family, through uh, Shan Loko Shanduga, listen, listen to this one, through Shanduga, had interest in the telecom sector in South Africa and Nigeria. It has also had 32.7% uh, th uh, interest in telephone tower building operation in Nigeria. Uh, Helluwa Towers, 12.5% uh, in, in, in CECOM. Which uh, which construct undersea cable. Furthermore, he was also a chairperson of MTN Group, the majority owner of the Nigerian operation. His business in a local entity, Shanduga, also purchased shares in MTN Nigeria. According to the telecoms giants, this will bring value and impact to the municipalities as well as unlocking the benefit of a modern connected life for household and business. The company further said it is look at its initiative will bring various benefits to different uh, stakeholders within the supply chain and uh, um, enhancing efficiency, accuracy, and security while providing better data access to managing electricity usage, which will lead to more accurate buildings, building, improve outra uh, uh, outreach uh, restoration and power quality. Namina, I'm saying, had we not been sold the uh, look, had we not been sold this narrative that oh he's a billionaire, hi oh, is not gonna steal, hi oh, we will not be questioning the man the way we do today. Had we not been sold this false look, uh, false promises, I'm gonna end no cheating. Give me eighteen months, I will end it now. We will not have been questioning today. We've not been questioning the man. You know, if for instance Paul Mashatel was to be the president and he just promised us simple things, guys, I'm gonna try to do this and these simple things. Not this idea of I'm clean. We will not be questioning the man. But he now is suffering from he look is suffering the look it, it, it's called what? Um, I forgot the right word for it. You set a standard too high, you fail you yourself, you you fail to meet it. You suffer the consequences of that. You lose trust drastically. You get into power through backdoors, uh, being in partnership with the DA. The worst case scenario. Hey, my lord.
They say the integration of smart electricity and water technology across these municipalities will further solidify financial stability for municipalities for eliminating bypasses, eliminating by bypassing, eliminate by eliminating bypasses and cost vending to ensure transparent and financial uh, vi vi look, uh, viable utility management. You see, now they are selling you the idea that we're not, we, we just got to go there and end this and end uh, the corruption of ghost. What, what? Hey, how did you get the tender? Let, let's leave what you're going to do. We'll talk about it later. How did you get the tender? It's the first discussion. How did you get the tender? That's the first discussion. Because if, for instance, Dr. Masugo is arrested and said that the people who benefited from there are arrested, that means they are saying you are the originator and these ones, they have the process of crime, we're going to take everything. So MTN cannot sell us the idea that we're going to solve this. Ah, let's talk about how did you get the deal. That's the first discussion. And then we can talk about anything else after that. The Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, COPTA, COPTA uh, referred all questions to the treasurer, which did not respond by the deadline. Oh. The publications attempt, look, attempts to get comment from MTN business CEO Charles Ma 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 Mola PC were unsuccessful. However, company executive Koloko Kolekile Ndamasa said um, he, will, he will hand over the inquiry to relevant authorities. We will refer this to my colleagues in cooperative affairs and they will respond accordingly, Ndamasa said. Um, this article, guys, comes from IOL by C. Pochak, published 10, year, 10 hours ago as of me reading this. Let's give credit to IOL, guys. They've been doing a very stellar job recently. Uh, yo, this guy, IOL, yo, 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 these days, they are not like a daily maverick. We know uh, Zuma, corrupt Gupta. Uh, uh, we know News 24, Zuma, corrupt Gupta. Their eyes, they suddenly, whenever they have to talk about Palapala, they are blind. They can no longer see Palapala. Where is Palapala? Where? There's no Palapala here. Hey, my, oh, that Palapala thing. Then they brush off and they, then they want to focus. Hey, Ganja, that corrupt, we are here because of Ganja. Hey, my daughter. Hey. Uh, look, uh, Bessa Guba, uh, I think they the star. I've seen the star already. Uh, I, mean, I think it's Sober 10 Live. Hey, now the way they write about anything. You know, I looked at the way people in the Mail and Guardians. You know, people will suffer even at the death of Tudumie. They even they still write. They disgraced Tudumie. That's media for you. That's mainstream media for you. That you you know this person is that is is dead. But the way you wanna, <laughs> according to I'm just showing you. We got this part of the look. IOL is doing an incredible job here. Because if it was these other newspapers, we will not know about this. I'm sure they were, might have gotten this. They were like, they were, they were like, ah, there's this MTN thing. Right, let's just focus on the other side. Why? Because they are the ones who are busy selling us the, uh, the narrative and the idea that, hey, business want a DA a coalition. They don't want MK part. Who voted? Is business or people voted? Why this business now suddenly have a much a larger voice and a significant voice over? The people who voted. People vote and business decide, right? Those newspapers, they are selling that. The DA and the ANC uh, uh, is the best thing. They will shy away from this, but IOL has been doing an incredible job. But I'm just showing you the, 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 how brutal and how dishonest this media thing is, this mainstream media is. And it also gives power to podcasting. It also gives power to social media um, reporting over. Because, for instance, if I am calling uh, Jacob Zuma, uh, I'm just going to ask him the questions that I want to ask you, though they, some of them will be difficult. But to be quite honest, I'll just allow the old man to sit down here and explain himself properly because it's a podcast. There's no need for me to rush and push him to the corner and make him say things. No, just sit down and 
spend time talking and then he explains everything properly and then I ask questions and explain. You know, that's podcasting. So podcasting, it gives people this thing of uh, giving clarity in things. Unlike mainstream me media, mainstream media, if you have noticed, they always want to be on, on, on control. They always want to tell you how to answer, what to say. But more than they are selling a narrative. And sometimes that's why Elon Musk even developed this thing of saying, Sorry, guys, if I, if you think I'm deviating, I'm just talking about this thing. Which mainstream media is very dangerous because they wouldn't have reported this. Elon Musk, I think, I think it's Elon Musk. He even uh, went as far as saying when he is being interviewed by mainstream media, he brings his own cameras. Why? Because I think at some point there was an allegation that or accusation that he made that um, there was an interview he did. Uh, first of all, they remove certain things from the interview. The next thing, uh, they 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 made it look like what he, look, he did not say. And then he said, but I didn't say all these things. He, that, he didn't have a proof. And from there, he was like, I'm doing an interview with you. Yes, but you bring my crew. We record. You, you record, we record. So that you play it as it is. And if you deviate from the point I was making, we'll, we'll release the actual footage. Why? That's the brutality of, of, of a, a mainstream media. Look at what it did. Uh, look, forget about Zuma because now we know uh, that what it look it, 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 it crucified the, the Zuma family, and so it makes people lean towards the Zuma family because we can see that there's mistreatment here. But it's just not about that alone, but it's also about uh, look at uh, look how cruel these people are. It shows that they've got cold heart. To do the look, to do me and he's dead. The disgrace. The list you could have written. The former SAA, like IOL wrote, uh, the former SAA chairperson died. Full stop. It ends there. They went, give us details, and it ends there, and they move on. This one, the disgrace. Then they talk about Judge Slope. Judge Slope, um, this, this is them. Judge Slope uh, died. Uh, no, 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 man. No, hey, Judge Slope, sorry, Judge Slope. Judge Slope is still alive. They impeached Judge Slope. They impeached Judge Slope. He's now working with MK Party. Then they want to make the MK Party. They, they spoke about the MK Party and the people there. They are saying, the state capture looters are there. Tom Moyane, what, what? Hey, man. But talk about Palapala. They are silent. I can't find even a single article from them talking about this scandal. Here. There's nothing here. There's nothing. I'm telling you. I can't find even a single article talking about it. Why suddenly when it is pala pala, they don't have eyes to see? Because they are the ones who, these hypocrites who were busy telling us about uh, business wants Ramaphosa. Hey, who voted Gandhi? Business wants Ramaphosa and DA. Who voted? It's business. No. Then let people decide who they want. Not business. Who's business? I can't even this thing of being told business, business. Who's this business? Because it just doesn't make sense to tell us about. The other time in this country, we were told about investor, investor. Hey, who is an investor? Because now you'll find that we are just talking about two people here, calling them investors, investors who are making the decisions. Then, now man, you'll find that we are just talking about two or three people here. Who are being told? Whom we are being told is business, business. You will find that's just a decision of two, two, two to three people who said that they want the DNA and NC coalition. Now we are being told, "Hi, it's business. Who is this business? We want their names. All those people who are called business, because there must be people. They are human beings. Why is it that we don't know about them? I'm telling you, we must be careful of accepting this narrative. Business want this. Hey, who's business? Tell us, Motepe." In business, wants this. Uh, uh, Tokyo Sokwale wants this in business. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Then we know, oh, this business people want this coalition. How this thing of being told business this, business that? Be who who voted? Who vote? Is it business? No. Then business shouldn't ever say on this thing. Like, they wanted the coalition between TA and NC. Hey, about vote, about finally, what but it's mainstream media. I'm just showing you. Mainstream media, it will come and tell you all these things. And run away from this one. Palapala has been caught again. It's one million. 
Si so gua kiwa na. The next thing, where are those houses? Hi, Mbalula. Uh, Hi, it's the figmentation of the figmentation that figmented that did the figmentation. <laughs> Hey, ah, you Hey, I'll tell you, don't bother. I'm telling you, I'll tell you, don't bother. I'm telling you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, don't bother. Fragmentation. Hey, I'm bothered. Okay, so I'm going to next year. Oh, Lord Chenny, you're pale. The next next year we're on stage six. I'm bothered. What happened to Lord Chenny? Hi, people. Why they ask me about that? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hey, 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 tell you, don't bother,